spin up and go. This is the Zwift Racing League on Neon Flats, stage four of round three. And it's flat, flat, flat. But we can't just draft, draft, draft because there's four sprint sections and two laps and the finish. So that makes nine sprints. Rather painful uh, to experience, to be honest. But I'm just going to do a summary of the sprint sections. So this is the first one. And I decided to go for the fastest through the segment points here. So I sat rather quite far back. And then I knew it started at 2.3, but for some reason I didn't accelerate into the section. So there's people flying by me at the moment. Then I realised, so I get on it. And my speed was just far too low going into it. I really wound on the power, that is sort of top end power for me, really, and I get nowhere really, I come about 38th and 16th through the segment and score zero points. Essentially my position would have been okay if my speed had been okay, there's no chance of a power up and my power was I put a yes there, but what I should have done is just ease off the power. I'd messed it up and I used up a lot of energy to try and make up for the fact that I'd already made a big mistake. What I should have done is just back off the power, but I didn't. So we're approaching the next segment here. Next sprint is a long one, starts at 5.6 and I get to the back again going for FTS and accelerate a bit better, a little bit of speed in there, use the arrow so I know I can gain a lot of speed and accelerate quite well through the group using decent power, back off a bit during the middle which I probably shouldn't have done and then back on it at the end and pull off a decent all of points. Although no first across the line points, I did get second place for fastest through and thereby 15 points. And the next sprint is hot on your tails at only less than two kilometers later. Thankfully it's a shorter sprint and I get myself in a reasonable position. I know one of my advantages is that I know where it starts. I know that it starts at this next sort of U-turn that's approaching. So I managed to build up some speed. Some people have already gone for the FAL, so they've got some catching up to there. So I'm going to have a crack at the FTS. I've got the van accelerate through some people, but never managed to quite catch the front group who are let get away a bit too much. But I think I got 7th over the line there and that uh, equates to uh, 3 or 4 FTS points. Okay, I can't be bothered making those um, PNGs of my scores, but um, it was taken up all night. So I, the next sprint is the probably the best one, so let's see what I did right. So I managed to get both FTS and FAL for the next one. So everyone's getting tired. I know where the next sprint is. I know I let the other people get away too far last time. So let's see how I position myself going into this. Um, this is the second sprint around the same uh, the same Castle Park sprint. So reasonably far back. There's a, oh, I always like it when there's someone who gets away. So I'm a bit, bit further forward at this point and yeah so when, if you get a bit further forward especially on these short sprints then people are going to go. So the sprint starts here and all the other sprinters are going at the same time and I can just sort of get on their, get on their tails. So I'm on a nice lead out there and I'm going to catch, oh I'm so close for first as well but there's no point in killing yourself for 
uh, one place in these kind of races. Uh, one place for FAL anyway only equates to one point. Uh, and it was a different guy who, so I got second on, yeah, I got second on FTS and second on FAL there. So 24 points just on that sprint. So by far and away my best sprint. It's probably a lot alert morning um, so there's a bit of a rest here you can see uh, myself and Mark in as per usual sitting at the back um, using the lowest wattages of any of the top 40 I think or certainly Mark in did and here we are approaching the second second go at the um, oh, in fact we're in it the second go at the tower sprint and again I position myself quite well, I've got the aero boost, used that quite early but seems to work okay and accelerate in a way with marking which is always nice uh, some guys coming to catch us but I think I got third over the line and about eighth in FTS which gave me 13 points for that sprint, so uh, a bit of a purple patch in the middle there. Um, though I did pay for it. Um, I think I picked up the ghost and I was feeling extremely bad. You can't actually see me on the pitch at this stage because when I've been sprinting, my bike wheel has been moving further and further. So this is the Ali Park. Uh, was it Ali reverse sprint? So this is the longest one, it's about 380 meters and I just decided way before it started that I was just going to try and just hold on to the group. Um, I'd really well had it on the previous two sprints, I had poor power up so um, the idea here is to just get through with the minimum energy possible but with no risk of dropping off and I think I do that extremely well really, in fact in, one, in, in some senses it was my best sprint. So I've got the got the truck again for this sprint, which I did particularly well on the last time we did it. Uh, the second time of the first lap. But uh, I don't think I scored any points, actually. So let's see what happens. So I think it starts at 22.2. 200 meter sprint, so use the truck maybe a tad early, might last that long, maybe not quite. Someone off the front, a little bit too far back to take advantage of the sprinters who are at the front, so they start accelerating before I get a chance to get to them. And there's just too many of them. Well, my power's reasonable, but yeah, the annoying kind of 11th, 12th, 13th kind of positions there, so no points. And only one more sprint segment to go. So let's speed things up. I'm making all kinds of squealing noises at this stage and the pain is really getting to me. But I'm using the Eric Barfeld method of talking myself up saying you can do this Rob and everyone else is in pain everyone else is in pain it's nice having a teammate with me who sort of adopts a similar style of riding at the back so I feel like there's someone with me and here we go into the final sprint didn't have a power up again because I got the ghost and there was no way I was going to do a ghosted attack uh, which maybe helps because I go forward um, rather than relying on the power up to bring me forward which means I get the draft of the other sprinters as they, and even though I'm putting up very similar power to last time, I managed to get in the front group and get some points. So, just the finish line sprint to go. And here we are, just 1k out. And going into the arcade, really don't like the arcade, all the corners you can lose uh, if people have gone off the front the draft gets reduced so I like to go a bit further forward someone's already gone off the front and I um, with the ghost I think I use the ghost in advance because there's no way I'm gonna attack with that 
and I don't want to be confused in the final moments wondering whether I should hit it or not just best to be fully committed to not doing it and taking away the option helps so 400 go some people are going from the front trying to squeeze out every last bit of energy I have managed to get in the draft of those really accelerate in a way my teammate marking heading towards the front looks like he's taking the front I'm going backwards just trying to squeeze out a few more watts and I cross the line in ninth place maybe got rolled a bit up the, the, the line for a couple of places but not much I could do about it and unable to even operate the computer to find out whether my teammate marking won or, won or not not really used to um, the PC and scrolling up and down the results screen without being too big headed but I'm usually on the first page <laughs> so I don't know how to how to actually scroll it um, so I will eventually work out that there is a scroll button on the right hand side to be fair I am impaired by all of the pain that I've just uh, put myself through um, and I eventually managed it and yay Marky and one hurrah and that put us second overall on the night only 12 points behind the winners the Belgians with riders and it puts us in third place on the league overall only looking up to the higher positions seem reasonably safe from the uh, chasing pack okay cheerio